Hi, I'm Kelsey from Ratings.com. Today we'll be doing a review of the Logitech Lift. We'll be evaluating on our standardized test bench to see how it performs and if you should buy it. The Logitech Lift is an ergonomic mouse with a vertical shape. It's designed for everyday browsing and productivity. Visually, it's very similar to the somewhat more premium Logitech MX Vertical, but it's been scaled down to better accommodate small to medium-sized hands. It also introduces some added differences and modernizations that we'll look at later in the review. The Logitech Lift is a vertical mouse that you hold like a joystick in a handshake position. Logitech claims this position is meant to relieve strain on your wrist and joints and encourage a more natural posture overall. Visually, the design is minimal and uncluttered. There's a rubber hand grip for your palm that wraps around the rear of the mouse, and there's a pair of side buttons on the left. This mouse also comes in three different colors, graphite, rose, and off-white. A left-handed version is also available. Now we'll look at the tests. Let's start with the build quality. Good build quality is important for the overall longevity of your mouse and can also play a role in how comfortable it is to use. The Logitech Lift feels well-built overall. There isn't any flexing or creaking between parts. There's a faint rattling sound if you shake the mouse, but this isn't noticeable during normal use. Unfortunately, while the plastic feels sturdy, it also feels somewhat cheap, especially compared to the material quality of the Logitech MX Vertical. Note that unlike the MX Vertical, this mouse uses post-consumer recycled plastic in its construction, which may account for this cheaper feeling. The ratio of recycled plastics used varies between colorways. The graphite color is made with 70% recycled plastic, while the other two color variants are made with 54% recycled materials. Moving on to the feet. The shape, location, thickness, and material use of these feet contribute to how your mouse feels when you move it across your mouse pad or desk. The lift has decent mouse feet. They glide smoothly on mouse pads and desks. Unfortunately, they make a light scratching sound on both surfaces. Also, they're a bit thinner than most other mouse feet. The Logitech Lift is well suited for small to large size hands using either a palm or claw grip. If you have extra large hands, you'll likely find the mouse is a bit too short for a palm grip, and you'll need to curl your fingers too sharply to use it in a claw grip comfortably. Also because of its vertical design, this mouse isn't suitable for using a fingertip grip for any hand size. The sensor is the essential part of your mouse. It's responsible for translating your movements into the cursor movements you see on screen. First up, CPI or DPI stands for counts per inch and relates to the sensitivity of your mouse. A wide CPI range with precise adjustment steps is important. Everyone has different sensitivity preferences, but most users prefer CPI settings between 100 and 4000. This mouse has a narrow CPI range, but it's more than sufficient for everyday browsing and productivity tasks. That said, if you use a high resolution 4K or 8K display, you may want to look for a choice with a wider CPI range so that your cursor moves quickly enough across your screen. Next, the polling rate is measured in Hertz and dictates how often the sensor reports its position to your computer. You'll typically want to use the highest polling rate possible as higher values result in smoother cursor movements. When connected with its USB receiver, the polling rate is locked to 125 Hertz. When you connect this mouse via Bluetooth, the polling rate is locked at 90 Hertz. These polling rates may seem low compared to a standard gaming mouse, but this mouse isn't designed for gaming. These lower polling rates do produce slightly less fluid feeling cursor movements, but they're also more battery efficient. Lastly, click latency is a measure of how long it takes for your mouse click to be registered by your computer once you click it. A lower click latency can play a crucial role in how responsive your gaming experience feels as any millisecond can make a difference between winning and losing. This mouse has good click latency. It delivers responsive feeling clicks during productivity work or casual gaming. Next up, let's look at the buttons and mouse wheel. The Logitech Lift has a fairly standard button layout with a pair of left and right click buttons, a conventional scroll wheel, two side buttons on the left, and a CPI button behind the scroll wheel. There's an added button on the bottom of the mouse that's used to pair with up to three devices via Bluetooth and receiver. You also use this button to switch between connected devices. Logitech advertises that the buttons and scroll wheel on this mouse are much quieter than their early generation mice. They're very unlikely to bother anyone around you, even in a crowded work environment or a quiet work from home office. The scroll wheel is what Logitech calls a smart wheel. It switches automatically from a slower position mode to high speed mode when you flick the scroll wheel quickly. However, you can't manually toggle between these two modes as you can with the Logitech MX Master 3. The Logitech Lift connects wirelessly with its included Logibolt USB receiver or via Bluetooth. You can wirelessly pair up to three devices simultaneously. 
Logitech advertises this mouse has a battery life of up to 24 months on a single AA battery. Note that this mouse also has an internal compartment for storing the USB receiver when it's not in use. Moving on to the software, robust companion software can be helpful for customizing sensor specifics, button mapping, and adjusting RGB lighting. However, not all users will see it as necessary, and some mice have simple customization controls directly on the mouse. This mouse uses Logitech Options Plus software for customization. It has a clean, straightforward layout, and it's easy to reprogram buttons, adjust CPI settings, and configure app-specific controls. So this brings us to the main question, should you buy this mouse? The Logitech Lift is an ergonomic mouse designed for comfortable everyday use. It's a little less premium feeling than its larger brother, the MX Vertical. However, it's available at a more accessible mid-range price point and designed for smaller hands. The added color options also suggest a more playful approach. And this is Logitech's first vertical offering with a left-handed variant available. This mouse also makes several improvements that make it a better fit for the changing work environment. The quieter clicks can make a big difference in noise sensitive environments. Also a scroll wheel with the ability to automatically switch between a precise scrolling mode and a much faster scrolling mode is helpful for browsing web content or documents more efficiently. Unfortunately, this mouse isn't versatile enough for serious gaming after the workday is done. It's also too small for extra large hands to use comfortably. Despite these minor shortcomings, it's a great choice if you're interested in a slightly more casual working mouse for the home or office. For a different ergonomic alternative, check out the Logitech MX Ergo. It's designed to sit stationary on your desk and you move the cursor by moving the large trackball with your thumb. This type of mouse can reduce the stress on your wrists and arms from repetitive movements. Or for a more conventional mouse that's designed for smaller hands but is versatile enough to handle productivity workloads and gaming in any genre, check out the Razer Pro Click Mini.